are going to try and get some more ground clearance out of this camper. This is a uh, Viking Epic 1906. I think it's 2017. We'll be using this Dexter over under spring conversion kit from E-Trailer. On this camper, we can just use the, the built-in leveling jacks to lift it. Uh, we've put a couple of uh, blocks of wood under to make sure that we can get that additional six inches that the lift uh, will provide of height. Just getting them all underneath and feet in. We've got the camper up on its leveling jacks uh, and on some wood just in case we have to uh, raise it higher than the jacks will go uh, to compensate for the lift. Uh, this kit uh, will add about six inches to the height of the trailer. We're about to break the lug nuts loose on each of these tires, which if you don't have an impact wrench, you'll want to do uh, while the camper's still on the ground. They're cranked down to 75 pounds, I think. Oh. These are all the wires for the uh, electric brakes. Uh, so we're just gonna get those out of the way. You need to first remove these U-bolts and this plate. Then we'll remove uh, this I-bolt so that we can drop the leaf pack out and drop the, uh, the axle down. Uh, first, we're going to put the jack stand under one side, jack under the other side to support the weight of the axle. Good morning. Okay. We've got the axle up on the jack and a jack stand on that side. We've already broken that side loose. Uh, so we're going to remove the U-bolt nuts first, and then we're going to break uh, this I-bolt loose but not uh, this one with the shackle on it. That way we'll, we have a little bit of play in the system uh, to get it lined back up when we uh, put the axle back on. I don't see any reason to mark this uh, because the U-bolts line up right against uh, this bracket. Oh, it's got to be a deep socket. Oh, it's heavy. Now that we finally figured out what the right socket is, it's an 11 16 deep socket. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to use the impact gun? That's why we use this guy. Let's be careful with that axle because it's not actually seated in the little groove on the jack, so I'm kind of slightly afraid it's just going to roll off of there. Uh, so we're going to break this loose using uh, an 11 16 on this side and a 21 uh, millimeter socket on this side. I doesn't seem to be exactly right, but it worked on the other side, so here we go. stabilizing this as we bring it down on the jack so it doesn't roll and hit the ground hard. There's enough slack in the brake cable there that we're able to just swing the whole axle around underneath the camper. Make sure it doesn't hit the jack there on the on your right. Yep. Great, that works. Exactly parallel with this, 
the distance between that bolt and the bottom of the nut is two and nine sixteenths. Uh, we're gonna use a wire cup brush to grind back this, uh, this paint that's on here. A uh, quick safety thing about, about these, a lot of people will tell you always wear gloves. Never ever wear gloves. If you don't believe me, look up degloving on Google. So ground through the paint and the mill scale that was underneath. Uh, in order to be able to weld this, especially because I'm going to be TIG welding it, it's a little bit less important if you're using something like a flux core welder. I'm also going to hit it with some paint thinner. Same with the surface I'm going to be welding too. And we're just going to check this with the calipers just uh, to make sure it's within a few hundredths of an inch or so. ready to weld this, got to get all of our paint thinner and flammable rags out of the way. Um, I have the ground set up on a, uh, a vice grip uh, because uh, there was nowhere to put the ground and you don't want to be like clamping it onto uh, the brake drum or onto the hub. Uh, any, you have to really think about where the current is going to be running through. I'm going to tack it here and here, and then we'll weld all the way to the tack on both sides. Welding. Uh, now that I've got this tacked, I'll just remove the, uh, the clamp and then I'm going to weld to the tacks on both sides. So this is welded. I don't see any reason to go all the way to the end like the original one did. This will hold it in place perfectly fine. So I'm going to paint it with a uh, Krylon primer and then, oh, can't see it, Rust-Oleum high performance enamel to prevent rust. with my stuff. <laughs> okay. Do we need to like get the inside or anything? I think that's got a coating, doesn't it? Does it? I don't know. If it did, I probably welded it off. Oh, okay. Got some nice pitting there in my weld. Oh man, everybody's gonna notice that too. No. We're gonna put this anti-seize on all of the bolts. Don't need much. So we're gonna torque these to 70 foot pounds. Like yeah, the top crank it until the, uh, the this ratchet in my hand is hitting, the, and then you can probably do it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Hopefully that's fly out of there. <sighs> Hopefully I don't smash my, <laughs> my hands when I do this. <clears throat> Jeez. We need to jack this axle up so that this little bolt here, this little nut, slips into the hole on this bracket that we just installed.
Got no depth perception through the camera. Can you push it my way a little bit? Okay, I think right, right there. And the, the axle wants to turn, so try and keep it from turning. Can you hold, yeah, hold it like there. Same deal here, this hole has to slip over this part of the bolt, this rounded bit of bolt. With these two bent parts sticking upward. So we're finding that the uh, original U-bolts and the new U-bolts out of the kit are exactly the same. I was expecting the ones from the kit to be longer so do what you will with that information. This comes up like that, and then that holds it right up against the axle. These U-bolts, uh, according to the instructions, need to be torqued down uh, between 30 and 50 foot pounds, and what's between 30 and 50? 40, so that's what we're gonna do. The internet also says to uh, torque these down in a crisscross pattern, so, you know, believe everything that you read on the internet, obviously. Okay, there it was. Okay, good to go. Okay, this is the best part. Are you eventually gonna get uh, bigger tires and stuff? Yes. Cool. Okay, make sure you torque these to spec. Wheels and tires are back on. Getting ready to lower it back down and see what it looks like. Yeah, you're perfect.